Dear students, this time I'm going to talk about how we can prepare to write. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines pre-writing activities as the formulation and organization of ideas preparatory to writing. In this way, pre-writing can help you to think. Writing is a creative act of communication, and communicating means that you have something to say that implies thinking. Also, this uh, putting your ideas down on paper helps you to collect and develop your ideas. Another point that uh, helps pre-writing is that you can have well-organized and clear writing. This will help you to come up with ideas, organize those ideas and develop a plan for your paper. Also, having a plan will lead you to a well-structured writing assignment. Another point is that Pre-writing helps you to save time. It may be a little strange because you need to spend some time on your pre-writing activities. But once you have your ideas on paper, you have something to work with. And this will make easier to write an outline in order to write your first draft. Then, when you want to re revise and edit your final paper, you also uh, can save time. And finally, uh, you can produce a better writing. When you think uh, before writing, you're generating support, uh, supported ideas, and these supported ideas will uh, give as a result a better piece of writing. Another technique that we have, or strategy that we have to pre-write is clustering. This will help you to see your ideas and their connection. Some authors also called clustering, mind mapping, or idea mapping. Clustering is especially useful in determining the relationship between ideas. You can distinguish how the ideas fit together and where there is an abundance of ideas in order to develop your writing. For this, you need to put the topic in the center of a page, circle or underline it. Then you are going to link the new ideas to the central circle with lines. And as you think of ideas that relate to the new ideas, add those ideas in the same way like you did before. Finally, the result will look like a web on your page. After this, you can locate clusters of interest to you and use the terms you attach to the key ideas as departure points for your paper. Another strategy is brainstorming. This helps you to activate your own knowledge and ideas related to the assigned topic. For this, you need to write down everything about your topic. No sentences. You just need to write uh, the idea that comes to your mind. Don't worry about the order of the ideas or whether some ideas are general and others are details. And don't try to connect your thoughts. In general, the brainstorming process is the following. You need to pick a word or idea or concept, then quickly list all the words and phrases that the target brings to mind. Don't pause when writing uh, until you run out of associations. Then you need to group the items that you have listed according to arrangement that makes sense to you. Give each group a level. Now you have a topic with possible points of development. Another technique is asking yourself questions. This is very helpful because you can ask questions that a person might have about your topic. Answering these questions will help the writer to supply the details a reader may find necessary to understand the topic. Also, the writer can get a different slant of the topic. The most common question word that you, may, you need to make are who is, what is, when is, when was, or when will be, where is, why is, or how is. This is going to depend on the topic you are talking about or writing about. And finally, the last strategy we have is taking notes from a reading. First, to develop this strategy, you need to decide what your opinion on the topic will be. Then, you need to take notes on the parts that show that your opinion is the correct one. Remember that reading is a two-way communication process between you and an author. To be an active reader, 
you need to learn to talk directly to the author in your mind and in your notes. It's common uh, to find or to confront one problem with the students because they write down ideas without a focus. So you need to discard anything that doesn't directly help you in developing your thesis in order to focus on the principal idea you are developing. I hope all these strategies will help you to develop your activities for this semester. Thank you so much.